What's going on YouTube? GSNR right here. So in today's video I have important things to discuss about the jailbreak for iOS 15 all the way up to 15.3.1 and of course what you should do right now because it's important if you want a jailbreak in the near future. This video is brought to you by Starsoft and their program KeyPass which allows you to bypass or unlock the iPhone lock screen and activation lock for older devices like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus and so on. The lock screen passcode removal works on new devices as well but the activation lock works on the iPhone 10 and lower. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably know iOS 15.4 is currently the main signed version, the main release, with 15.3.1 no longer being signed. However as you can see over here there are a couple of betas available on my website that are still signed. Now most of them are iOS 15.4, beta 5, beta 4 and so on. Those are good as well, you should definitely save those blobs because beta 1, beta 2, possibly Possibly even beta 3 are compatible as well with the vulnerability reported by John Ackerblom and Synactive over here. Synactive even released a code for the proof of concept to trigger that vulnerability. This vulnerability here can be used for jailbreak purposes and it's actually quite powerful and it was patched sometime back on iOS 15.4 beta 4 or something like that. But by 15.4 release it's already patched so you cannot use it on 15.4 but on some of the betas you can. But most importantly is this one here 15.3 RC which is basically the same as 15.3 over here. In fact you can see that there is very small difference between the build number. You should actually save your blobs for everything over here. It's important definitely do it. You can use blob saver. I know I have made tutorials before on blob saver and how to use it but many people are subscribing to this channel every day and they may not know about it. Why would you even do that? Why would you save the blobs for this? Why does it matter? Well Torin team, the team behind the Torin jailbreak said that eventually 15.3.1 and lower will be supported especially on some devices. So if you want to maximize your chances of being able to jailbreak in the future, no matter what version you're on, definitely save your blobs. Even if you're running 15.4 at the moment, you can still downgrade the 15.3 RC. And that would be good, it's better than 15.4. The lower the better. Well, with Blob Saver, as I said over here, there is the version 3.0.4 here. You can get it for Windows or Mac OS completely free. And then you open it like this, plug in your device. And of course, press read from device here to get the ACID and device number and then here on iOS instead of the signed ones specify beta then go ahead here on my website on iOS signing status select your device press here and in my case this one is an iPod so I'm going to select iPod touch 7 generation in this case and you can see all the betas that are signed right click and copy the link for that beta go back in here and paste it and you will be able to save those right away. So that's actually great. Do that for all the betas over here because all of them can be useful in the future but especially the 15.3 RC, 15.4 beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. As you can see it says success, successfully save the blobs over in there and that's it. Do the same with all the betas, you have the links on my website. That's very important because most of these betas here are actually compatible with this vulnerability released by Synactive which can be used for Torin eventually so you will be able to gel if you save your blobs. You can also downgrade right now to 15.3 RC if you're running 15.4 so definitely do that if you missed the 15.3.1 opportunity. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time. Peace out.